Why did you decide to become a brain doctor? You know, I heard the name Ben Carson before. I knew he was a, a, a doctor, but I didn't know what kind. Um, and I had known that he had done some things that he was being um, um, lauded about and praised for. And I just really didn't understand exactly what uh, field he, he is spe specialized in. It's a miracle. Do you believe in miracles? Not a lot of doctors do. Then I had a connection with him. The fact that he was uh, raised by a mother that, that instilled his faith in God. I mean, it, was, it really hit home with me because that's basically uh, my upbringing with my mother. Sometimes I feel like I don't know, mother. She taught him never to compromise. Never look down on your situation and say, oh, I can't. You know, that you were, uh, had the ability to, to achieve anything. Um, I, I felt a strong connection there with him. I felt that way plenty of times. Thing is, you got to find out what's blocking it and move that thing out the way. I don't know what's blocking it. Sure you do. And the fact that he had he had grown up in Detroit and didn't really have a lot, but yet overcame a lot of obstacles. I, I thought those were really strong themes. But even if you fail, at least you did something. Just to hear the things that Ben had to do to talk these parents through these horrific situations with their children. I'll do it. That whole case with that nine-year-old, with the, the frequent seizures, you know, having to induce a coma to give her body a rest, just, I mean, I wept when I read that in the script. And then when she pulled through, and then the courage that the, the parents had to have, you know. I'll notify the doctor in Germany. We'll schedule the operation for a month from now. Make it two. Make it four. The subject matter just dealt with something also dear to me because I have children. I have two boys, 12 and 14, and a little girl who's three. And we've gone through two emergency C-sections and one planned C-section. So I know the anguish that you feel, the helplessness that you feel as a parent standing in that ER, you know, that room waiting. And, and you know, and then they cut your wife open and then they work on her and you're there and you're helpless and you're like, please doctor, you know. Don't let this just be any surgery. Make this the one that you really focus on, you know? You may not be able to bring back your babies by saving these, but even if you fail, at least you did something.